green lights are. Yeah. Uh, I guess I spoke with Val this morning and we were sort of talking about how this format of the shelf, that it's something that's like maybe not as considered or well presented as it could be. So I'm just starting to um, think about maybe, maybe I've got to build some other like little uh, boxes maybe like three or like five that are going to be like these little dioramas and are they all going to be installed together like this or they're going to be like spread along the room or you're going to be have to walk around it like how's what's the movement of the person looking at it going to be um how are they going to be looking into it like are they going to be you know is there going to be some lenses maybe and you know you can't see the whole thing you can only kind of look through these peepholes um is there going to be screens in there and video um, is there going to be little references maybe to um, other other artworks or other you know uh, pieces of literature or films? Um, and how is you know without me standing here talking about how someone would approach this work and sort of see those connections? So yeah, I guess I'm just kind of brainstorming today and. Yeah, trying to um, clarify it a bit for myself. So, yeah, because there's a lot of making that has to happen between now and the end of semester. So, I think now's the time where I really need to nut out what I'm going to try to make um, and what story that's going to tell. Yeah. I'd like to make something that has this sort of, the same sort of appeal as the sort of like, you know, like a, a diorama you might see at a museum or, or something like that, that has, you know, this kind of, um, I guess this like realization of the world in a miniature form that has this sort of sense of uh, like a reverie sort of about it. So, you know, you kind of like peer in and you're sort of drawn into this world and you're kind of immersed in it because there's all these like, bright colours and textures or videos or holograms or the light, the LEDs moving around so that, um, you know, so I want to kind of model this process of, of being like immersed in this world of media um, and for, for then the content of what's there to also, you know, speak to the viewer Oh, isn't isn't it strange that the world is like this? That we kind of, you know, that we, you know, can can see the other side of the world. We can imagine being in, you know, a completely far off place. You know, the coast of California. We've never been there, but we kind of can see images of it. We can have this sort of psychic idea of it, and uh, you know, then maybe that will feed back into the way we live our own lives or the the spaces that we make for ourselves so yeah it's it's you know it probably doesn't sound very clear right now because it's not very clear for me but I'm still trying to um, not out exactly what I'm trying to say you know so that if I you know can't really answer what is the narrative because I'm still figuring that out I think that like that in my own life or my own like kind of imaginative thoughts that you know, there's a sort of like a delusion, like a kind of like a spectacle that I'm participating in this sort of like uh, individualistic kind of Hollywood story and that, that you know, in trying to um, make artwork about that or try to understand that idea of being, you know, immersed in these kind of cultural myths 
that maybe through understanding that I'll be able to sort of see through it better or kind of, um, you know, just kind of understand the world I live in better. I think I'm just curious. I think I'm driven more by curiosity and wanting to understand how things, are, how things work or how, you know, how, understand how like my mind, you know, might be kind of like immersed in, in um, you know, a, a story. So, you know, like say you play a game, right? Like a, like a, like a video game and you, you're kind of in this virtual world and you become so immersed in it and there's something that like, it's like, it's like a drug, it's like a, it's like sugar, it's like, you know, um, kind of, you know, you might spend a whole day just kind of being in this kind of cyberspace and I think that it's interesting that we as beings, you know, we weren't, we didn't evolve to live in that sort of, those sort of spaces. Trying to see what, what I understand about this spectacle or this, you know, media landscape um, and this, you know, kind of virtual or, you know, mythical or kind of fictional spaces that we, you know, kind of psychically inhabit, understand that better and then to model it and model that sort of process of being caught up in this, you know, wonders for in, in artwork. Like, I don't want work, artwork to be like a sort of wonder. Like, you know, I want, I want someone looking at it to have that sense of wonder and for them to, you know, think about those same sort of ideas. This one's going to be Mary, maybe, some kind of biblical, um, yeah, I think Mary, or, um, or a goddess of some kind, but we'll see. I'm Alex and um, studying third year art and focusing on Her studio it was three exorcism of the and last I think she painting I ever made, made. and it was gone home. There would have she had, had a from her studio, oh, and I just thought it was six years um, off I from painting. Like she just couldn't have a studio for, for that long. So I and then um, it um, and her three I like working as a studio. I stand was to kind of relieve her anxiety in regards to painting. How much I can reduce her bit of grief there. I um, put the ballpark and I actually really I was liked here the thought of I think it was 16 her, hours like reconciling with the but still that was kind of so much pain and it art it doesn't it doesn't cause me pain it's um, so I'm glad that I took a little break but I thought came um, back a little bit more energy um, yeah it was a good idea and I've got the studio for a few more days so it will work out to be over the 24 hours photos that came from it they're just beautiful photos here. Space. Um, I wanted some of 
moment. But I just, I think I need this space to get some things done. I think I need this space to get some things done because I'm constantly distracted at home and I just need some space that I can purely do my own having to art pursuits for a little while. Um, was actually challenging, but I actually really enjoyed it. So being made to do things outside your comfort zone, I think is always good for art because you learn that sometimes things are actually, when they're hard, they're worth more worthwhile. And um, I think having to do certain tasks for art, even if they're not something you enjoy, um, it's always beneficial, the technique. The do not use a collection yeah. of not only dreams that I've had recently, but dreams that I can remember having when I was younger or ones that I've pulled out from old journals. So it's like a big, um, yeah, a big dream journal and it's probably my prized possession at the moment, even though it's a little bit dirty. Um, and I think this is the first of many. I think I will, when I finish this one and display it, I think I'll go to Ikea and get another one and do it again. This is just the introspective of looking within yourself and trying to amount, you know, arise at some kind of like conclusion. Um, I'm not much sure if I'm there yet. Um, yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah. There's just going to be a simple corridor in there at the back. And the first one will be on the seating so. Definitely. I think the reason why I um, chose, chose this uh, task, I guess, or project for myself, the direction of, of understanding myself a bit better, um, relates to the bigger picture of like why I began studying fine art and thought it was right for me in the first place. Um, I. Yeah, I think that's the main reason why a lot of people choose to study art and are artists, really. It, it's just another way of kind of um, materialising like, outside of the body these concepts that plague us, um, you know, when we're alone or when we're with people. They're just they're ideas that are understood a lot better by kind of putting them in the exterior world and... Um, just being able to, yeah, being able to like look at it from different angles. You know, it's not always easy to detach yourself from and complex ideas when they're circulating um, in your mind. There's a lot of interior bias that will um, it's change the way you look at things it, and make uh, it easier for you to understand things. And with that ease, it also is might arise, you know, overlooking the more important and harder to deal with it's like problems. Relies on the social things that I'm looking at, like lost, and for the most a lot of people, I and myself like included, that have been in denial for a while as far as how much we let ourselves be um, the way ruled by these something emotions. that radiates out of a central, so I think, central point. And I think yeah, that being that able to point, like, um, the being conceptualized um, in a whole different way. Just change these true. thoughts into a real thing, especially to and do our best at yeah, it. Yeah, everyone's always improving, but the, the um, kind of the you know, once you've got it out there, once it's a finished product, that's in an abstract. That's it's, everything ready it's, out, uh, radiates. You know, out there's no more. There's no more tweaking. It's once it's finished, the then I think um, you know, why people you, know, you, you can't you can't kind of, of the divine through ideas double back on yourself and avoid the thought anymore because it's not a thought anymore. A point in the universe. Um, or so, a point in yeah, that's that's again, such as you know. I, yeah, yeah, not not just as difficult things, beautiful things too. I mean, that's. You understand yourself through art, you know, and God, the divine, or an absolute. Other people can understand their own. And these, these are things that might about outside of the person. You know, work, working through um, art, and, and, and but also and yeah, I think that's the main reason why I chose to study, study at the same place. time. So it's reflected in it. In it. And I don't know. It, it provides a lot that people try and provides a whole lot for um, um, when you do such. Yeah, it's, it's incredible.
um, emptying your mind and trying it to focus on keeps me creative and a point of nothing keeps me thinking in new ways I, I try to experiment with a lot of different um, styles yeah, like so I was really into illustration and geometry for a long time and one of my pieces here geometry is like that focus on that um, but we're also kind of exploring and, and um, also the grains yeah the I think it's good to try and test yourself it's and yeah, the interior and exterior. yeah like combined combined with art I'm studying anthropology it's and it's about kind of understanding the world through a cultural lens and when how and these different kind of hidden forces shapes, are working and draw the person's eyes uh, they, they really play off each other really well um, that's because why I like it. people throughout history have they expressed their culture through art it kind of helps um, it assists your mind in I think that's really the only way people can express their culture, like language languages and art, something more a dance similar. and paintings, uh, performance, yeah, that's, that's like all these things are art forms. So it pairs really well with my current study. And yeah, I'm able to kind of convey through this some of like the per uh, issues that I'm facing at the moment. And that I think the world's facing like a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the main reason. To understand myself better. And to understand other people too. Yeah. You kind of re you remove your bias a bit more. And it helps um, broaden your perception of the world. Because you're challenging yourself. You know? And I think that's how you grow. You challenge and you fail and you succeed. And that's about it.